And now, our feature presentation. Hey guys, this is Honey Cute once again, and whew, this is this is April fifth. Um, today's well, the filming of the day is April fifth, two thousand fourteen, and this is gonna be a impromptu video. Yes, the word impromptu, meaning that a video that that never I never thought of it, never thought of it till today. Um, I, well, today I went to New York, and I just got back to my dorm, pretty, pretty goodness that my, my body went sweating after spending a whole day out doing a, doing some class work, and, like, a scavenger hunt assignment, and all that crap, and I even did the, the extra credit, which I won't be explaining about this video, because this is very provincial. Um, this is going to be a, 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 a prompt to unboxing video. Um, I bought some games and one Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, car box, what do you want to call it? I had never actually thought of it till right, till at this moment. So, without further ado, let's start with the game, the items that I got from the arcade games at Torus. By the way, all these, all these are from, are from Tour of Us, Tor, uh, Toys R Us, excuse me, and the first thing I want to show you is the things that from the arcade at Times Square. So the first one I received is, I, I told to get is the, the shoelace, uh, shoelace pin pad thingy. It's like a, I, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a thing that you put in your key keychain. Let's call this a shoe chain or something like that. It's pretty, yeah. I thought, I, I thought of this is pretty cool. Um, I never actually thought of it that I want to play something that real bad. Um, the yeah, next up we got the uh, the marble ball. It's a rubber ball, by the way. It's like a bouncy ball like this. There's a marble ball. Next up, I got the Jolly Rancher of uh, candy, which is the ras is the ras blue raspberry. This is one of my favorite, um, one of my favorites, favorite flavors in Jolly Rancher. And the fourth one is the paddle ball. You know, you like your paddle a ball thing like that thing jig. Yep, those the those the four items are actually from the arcade games in which I will um upload sometime upload a DNO deal um arcade game sometime soon. Uh but in the meantime another here's another thing I wanna add. I also bought some things that actually cost me like a hundred bucks out of my out of my efforts because one, I actually never thought of it. Like, really, 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 really never thought about it. And I had some time spare, so... just want to show you quick things that, that you guys might want to see. The first one, it's not a van. Well, let's see, most of them got it. And I suppose I got that on Blu-ray uh, yesterday, as of yesterday, April 4th. On Blu-ray, but my laptop doesn't work on Blu-rays. I don't know why. This name might be because I have a DVD drive, but I now I finally have it for what just was twenty bucks. Is the award-winning Frozen. You can see the front, side, back. Is actually one of my uh, recent favorites since since I went to the movie theaters last December. I'm telling you guys, if you are a fan 
of Disney, you should consider buy this movie. I'm telling you right now. I even I even have it on my um uh, background, my laptop. And there are three more I'd like to show you. One of it is I do have it on the, the additional console, but thanks, but convincingly by some people or who were at a call, I finally, finally, finally got the game when I need. Is Super Smash Brothers Brawl for Nintendo Wii? Yeah, I finally, finally, finally have it. I still got the the game file again on my on my Wii. I should hopefully do a game review of it soon. Man, do I miss that game? Yes. The next game. Hmm. What's the sister show of Family? No. What's the sister show of Wheel of Fortune? That's right. It's Jeopardy for Nintendo Wii. I even searched it. Look, I was I found this out of nowhere. Like one of the shelves for thirteen bucks. And I just I just just I'm just gonna say this right now. I finally got it, despite the fact that that I w I am not a fan of it as of yet. But I will do a game review of it soon. I'm not in. I'm not going to do a game run of it, unfortunately, just because I need some practice with. So, there's Jeopardy for Nintendo Wii, and finally. My last game for Nintendo Wii edition in my collection. Um, Leave. I, if I recall correctly, Leave Man A13 Games had that game. I'm just hoping that that he might do he might do a a re a like a reformat tournament edition on his end. You know what game is in Leave? You should have it by now. You should have it. If you, if you recall it, who wants to be a millionaire for Nintendo Wii? Again, I found this uh, on the tour of us, and I was like, I was I was convincedly wanted to buy it. Like, I don't convince it. Uh, originally, I was trying to find uh, Mario, any of the Mario parties, um, eight and nine for the Wii in there, but I guess they don't have it. That's one reason I. I I had to buy um uh, the Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Yep. So I'll do the game around of it if I had to get a chance of practice. Oh by the way, and there's one last thing that I will going to add. Now I mentioned a Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but you might be thinking, what is the what what kind of what kind of pack that I, I bought for this. Well, it's recently cost me 47 bucks. I need to recheck on the, the receipt. Um, but I still have it. I might even have it somewhere, but regardless, what's the, the what kind of Yu-Gi-Oh pack that I bought? It's, I bought it for 47 bucks um, for some reason. Will money waste? We'll see. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection for Joey's World. I actually love actually because um let me tell you this right. I'm gonna tell you a little bit a little story of mine. Um back when I was a kid, um I I when I was, when I first uh bought Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh I bought Joey Wheeler's deck with Red Eyes Black Dragon. Um I honestly don't know why. I haven't played, I don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! first time, but ever since, ever since I learned it from the instruction manual, and all that, that, what do you want to call it, that little, that little tutorial, I know how to play it, and eventually, I'm, I'm very surprised that it, it came out like, 2013 or 12, I don't, I don't remember exactly, 
but you want to go open this box? Sure, I'll do that right now. Okay, just give me one second, guys. Let me, give me open the box. I'm not gonna add these collections, these collections to my main deck. Although I, I though I haven't, I did I haven't a chance to play Yu-Gi-Oh since then. Let's see. Here's the box. Alright, guys. Let me put this right here. Let me put this right here on my blanket. And I know some people did this on their YouTube channel. It's pretty cool. But for me, I never thought of it. So, for sure, I was like, sure, why well, not doing unboxing Yu Gi Oh! First off, we got the Blue Flame Swordsman. Um, Secret Rare, I believe. Um, I actually love the ability, uh, the animated one. Like, whenever you lost, whenever he loses attack points, he transfers attack points to any other monster. But according to here, it says. During either battles player's battle phase, you can target one other warrior type monster you control. It loses exactly 600, and if it does, that monster can save 600 points. It's it's kind of like a it's kind of sad to say that it doesn't it doesn't require all attack points like last time. But I guess I guess. I guess that's what it says on the car. I don't know. It says it loses some attack points, not all, unfortunately. Oh well, it's no big deal. There's Blue Flame Swordsman. The next card is the ring, next rare is the, the Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation. Um, the, one, of my, one of my rare cards. I mean, never watching the episode where, where um, it has ability where if if you have many harpy ladies, uh, then you can destroy it. You can destroy. You can destroy many as long as you got that that name, that same number of harpies, and you lose light points equal equal to their attack points from their light points. I thought it's pretty good. I thought it's pretty good card from my perspective. It is good. And the third card is card of last well. Now it says if a monster you control becomes zero by a card effect, draw until you have five cards in your hand. Um, if I remember the animated version, I it says whenever you loses the number of attack when you whenever your monster loses attack points, you draw five cards according to Merrick's. Animated ability. Although these three, let me see Harpy Lady's Venus formation. Yeah, Venus formation is the only card that makes sense. While well, these two changes a little bit. It's not that bad, actually. Overall, now, now let's get to our packs. Let's see, three, four, five, five packs, and each of it are nine. So that's three, four, forty-five, forty-five cards overall. And I forgot to mention, we got six, uh, six. Sheep tokens. You got the blue, you got the orange, you got the red, and two oranges, a white, and a pink. These sheep girls are hell awesome. I'm telling you right now. Now let me open the first box. If I can, if I can do. 
it's kind of sucks. Is that like you, you, you can you, you can try to open it, not ripping the card. I don't remember the last. I don't remember when's the last time I did this. Um, but I guess it's all worth it. Let's see if I can find the scissors. I couldn't open it for some reason. Oh, I think I know how to open it. All right. I think I know how to open it. It's a weird way, but that's how it opens. All right, shoot. All right, I got the nine card sets. So we got Goblin Attack Force, Hero of the East, Rare Scum and Skull, Ultra Rare Imperial Iron Wall, Seeker Rare Mirror Force. Man, that was awesome. Super rare Harpy Lady. Then we got Necro Valley, Berserk Dragon, and Despair from the Dark. Get these cards organized. Now to the next pack. If I can manage to open every pack of it, then that should be fine. Alright, here's my next pack of it. Uh, we got Cosigen. Blind Destruction. Rare Shadow Tamer, Ultra Rare Monster Reborn, um, Secret Rare Saber Source, Whoa, -ho. um, Super Rare Harpy Lady Two, Machine King, Rio Ku, and Cave Dragon. Pack three. If I can open this eventually. Ah, ah I think I screw it. Shoot. If I can open. I need, I need to do something if I can't open this. Oh, never mind. I got it. I got it. I got from here. Alright. Our next set of cards are as follows. Golden Mammoth from Go Find. Fossil Excavation. Rare Chinzo. I always wanted Chinzo. Another ultra rare imperial iron wall. Oh man, secret rare Sodom judgment. Yes. Super rare called the hunted. And we got dungeon worm, launcher spire, and the warrior returning alive. Pretty good set of cards so far. Two more to go. And I I couldn't open this. Dang it. Oh boy.
Alright, I got the fourth open. This now we got a new set of cards. This time we got as follows. Fairy hand mirror. Yes, time wizard. One of my favorite favorite cards. I'll keep that as a secret collection. Jam Brady Machine. Toon Scum and Skull. Ultra Rare. Uh, Buron, Mad King of Dark World. Mm. And they got the Secret Rare Foolish Burial. Secret Rare. No, Super Rare called the Mummy. And then we got. Huh. Am I missing something? No, it's Mega Zower and Tiger X. Hmm, I must have missed something. Three, five. Ta no, wait. Two, three, four, five. Yep, Time Wizards is the other. Okay. Time Wizards is my personal collection. Um, here's my last set of cards before I end this video with a bunch of surprises out of my way. Now let's see. Magic Jammer. Revival Jam. Yes. Kunai with Chain. Another rare Jinzo. Um... Book of Life, Ultra Rare. Seeker Rare, Great Keeper Spy. Super Rare Harpy Lady 3, yes. Now we got Divine Knight Arjark. And Mad Sword Beast. Pretty good collection of cards. I'll tell you that. Second of collecting every card. I only bought these cars just because I'm a fan of Joey. That's all. And here are the Secret Rares, the Great Keeper Spy, Foolish Burial, Soul and Judgment, Saber Swords, and Mirror Force. Promotional cards. Super Rares. Ultra Rares. Monster Reborn, Imperial Iron Wall, and Rare Cards, Scum and Skull, Shadow Tamer, two copies of Jinzos, and two Scum and Skull, and one of my personal favorite cards, the Time Wizard. Well, I think that is it for this amazing surprise video featuring all the Wii games, the Wii games that I bought. The DVD, the cards from Tour R Us, and, and some good items from the Arcane Games in Times Square. I hope you guys enjoyed this incredible video. Incredible video of everything that I, I bought. And I'll see you guys on my next video soon. Camera back on me. Uh, camera back on me, please. Anyone? Hello? Hello? Could someone give me a ride home?